Want to know the difference between the Mary Fisher 895 Series 1 and the brand new 895 Mary Fisher Series 2? This quick, short and fast video is going to show you the key differences. Welcome back to The Rudder. My name's Damien and this is Brooke and this is the 895 Series 2. If you've checked out our channel, you know we have Antoinette, our 895 Series 1. We're going to go through really quickly and just pick out all the differences. Perhaps you're looking between getting a Series 2 or a Series 1. Perhaps you're looking to upgrade. We're just going to go through quickly all the differences. If you want to have a look at the full walkthrough and everything available on this vessel, check out the video here. So thanks so much to Northside Marine for allowing us access on board this boat. Let's go. This is a brand new boat. They haven't just put some new stuff on top. The whole hull is different. So the mold, everything is different. I think it's a little bit more bulbous. There's more volume. They've also made it so it planes better at around about that 20 knots. So it's a little bit more efficient. Probably the biggest visual cue is a change in the windows as you move through. Something to note, the cleat has moved just slightly. And if you have a look at the steel work, that is also a little different. Let's head down the back. A lot of changes back here. Most notably, not twin 200s on the Series 1. You've got twin 250s. These are the brand new Yamahas. So this one has the joystick control and all the bells and whistles. So more power down the back, which probably leads to that more efficient planing at that slower speed. A really big change. And I think this is super important. Well done. They've moved the petrol fillers. They're not halfway in midship on the teak. They're right here at the back, one on either side for your twin 300, so 600 litres in total. Also, the shape has changed back here. The cleat's still in the same spot. I wish they moved that to the back. One thing that didn't change, which I thought they would, is the ladder is the same. Every other Janai's got the pulling ladder thing. They've kept the ladder, that's cool. Let's jump on board. Welcome to the cockpit. They have really gone to town with the changes. Now, please be kind in the comments if I miss anything because there's so many changes in this space. First thing you'll note, if, you keep, if you've kept your original table, this is really different to the original table. They've inserted four cup holders, which is really great when you're underway, your bottles don't fall everywhere. Moving across to the port side, this is a huge difference and I'm not sure if I like it or not. I'm a, not a big Fisher person, so it doesn't really phase me. It's this modular seating, which, okay, if you're a Fisher person, fantastic, because it flips down and it means you can fish off the edge. But in my mind, you lose all the storage space underneath. Give or take, I don't know. I don't love it, but I'm sure some people do. There's still the same configuration, but the quality of the seating, you've got this stitching and it just feels a little bit more comfy. Maybe because our boat's a couple of years old, but um, this is quite nice. You've got the armrests with the embedded cup holders. This aft bench slides forward and it's really odd because that seat still stays in the same spot, unlike the series one, I'll just show you quickly. Not a huge difference, just a little thing. The gate seems to be a little bit larger and the shower is definitely different in the Series 2. Just one more thing, this is quite a drastic change. It's the tuna door. Those of you who are familiar with the Series 1, the tuna door is slightly more towards the bow. It's a little bit smaller. This tuna door is full length. Great for your passengers to transit on board. But one downside of that is you'd have to move anything out of the way. It's a great addition. Whether you like it or not, I think it's cool. Let's head inside. Once again, lots of changes inside. The first one you'll notice immediately is they've added this cute little table to extend your preparation space in the galley, which is pretty cool. Moving into the galley, yeah, it is very different. In the Series 1, the whole lid lift it up and then underneath you'd have the cooktop and the basin here you lift up different sections 
which again it's got its pros and cons because you kind of need to put these things somewhere when you're prepping but also if you don't want the sink while you're cooking you can just leave it there and you've still got that um, prep space a couple of other changes is they've got overhead storage and it's quite a different configuration underneath here they've taken um, this those of you who are familiar with the series 2 you have two cupboards that open this one they've filled with a bin yep it's taking a lot of real estate but handy I guess we actually pop our bin uh, our mini bin there the drawer is super wide which is excellent for all of your belongings and then in this um, in this model they've got the microwave and then a mini little cupboard underneath fridge is the same everything else is the same on the galley moving across to the port side the table flips so that your passengers can face forward that's the same in all Mary Fishers um, not much of a difference in your color scheme because the um, later model um, Mary Fishers had the lighter upholstery and curtains but um yeah it's basically the same except for this table splitting here this vessel is fitted with aircon so that space here is taken up with air conditioning if you don't have aircon that can be a uh, pull out drawer one really big change that i love this brand new captain's chair it's very plush it's lush uh it's got a bolster in it as usual it wraps around you a little bit and because they must have seen my video it has a swivel in it which means the captain can join the rest of the conversation whilst at anchor some other changes which uh, on a few of the other vessels but they've bought into the new series too you've got these vents that pump in or they don't pump when you're underway air comes through them to blow onto you we found that the sunroofs they're a little bit bigger but pretty much a lot of the roof is sunroof not a lot of air actually comes in here whilst underway so these vents very useful everything else is kind of the same you've got big door still the fuse the stereo and things have moved a little bit aren't going to impact you too much also something else i've just noticed and this is something that we've been only been on this vessel for today and we just keep on seeing little things all over the place they've done a lot of thinking about how to reimagine the 895 but just so at the front there was glass and a white trim which really gave a big reflection this is now upholstery and I'm guessing these vents are for our northern neighbors you might want to uh, defrost your windscreen uh, so it doesn't fog up all right some quick changes down below first one let's start with the head the whole configuration has changed in the head you step inside in the series one you had your basin and your vanity facilities and then on the left you had the toilet same spot for the toilet but they've actually moved the basin around to this angle here which makes it a lot easier because the door clicks back and you have access to these cupboards speaking of cupboards a lot more storage underneath the vanity in the series two the mirrors a lot larger and um They've also got an electric toilet. Let's go into the bow cabin. I might get some criticism for this, but um, I feel like this bed is a little bit smaller than our bed in our series one. They might've pinched a bit of space somewhere. Um, our series one, I fit a queen size fitted sheet onto. Not quite sure if this is the same size. It feels a little bit smaller. So you might lose a little bit of space with the bed, but you also gain a lot. A lot of extra airflow and also a lot of extra light you've got this addi additional light well from the bow because of the way the bow is configured and the larger windows mean a lot more natural light comes in you've got two overhead portholes instead of one in the series 2 and one thing that I don't like in the series 2 is on our series one you had that little storage space the whole way along where you could hide your little bits and pieces like your phones or your moisturizers so just imagine at night if you're at anchor trying to sleep and then your water tips over we like putting our water bottles in those side storage spots a couple of minor 
additional aspects. There's only two overhead cupboards in the series two. In the series one, you've got three the whole way along. And the full length cupboard on the port side seems a little bit shorter. Other than that, the lighting seems similar. Obviously you've got your additional lighting from the light wells and you've still got this fantastic storage underneath. Just as we move forward, the Mary Fisher has kept that offset cabin. So there is a little bit more room on this side. The uh, gas tank has moved just a bit, bit back. That's fine. Your fresh water filler, it's a bit of a change here. The roof line has changed dramatically. There's a bit more of a throw that way. Nice in cut in here. This one has been fitted with all the bells and whistles with a roof rack, but the roof line is quite different. And as we go forward, there are some big differences and you can see the awning flying over your new sun lounges. So the bow configuration is dramatically different. You don't have the little seat here at the front. You've got three massive sun lounges, lie back and immediately your feet want to go out. Of course they do. Insert in here and a cushion goes over the windlass. So this entire space is for sun lounging. These flick away so you can get access to your portholes for the nighttime. It is a very different spot. They've taken some cues from some of the big super yachts and done a very good job on still an 895, a 9 metre vessel. You've got these massive sun pads, very luxurious. Just looking forward to the windlass, they've also done some things for the captain. On the Series 1 you have to open that hatch Otherwise, your anchor hits the hatch if you release the anchor from uh, the helm. That's all changed. There's none of that. The windlass is free to move and your anchor well is to the side and that's where your remote control is. And underneath your sun lounges, there's that window that adds extra light into the main cab. And we can also see lots of uh, cup holders up here to accommodate the extra people that are probably going to make the journey to the front of the boat. The deck has to be one of the places where the biggest changes have happened for the better. So there we have it, a quick video to showcase the biggest differences between the Mary Fisher 895 Series 1 and Series 2. As I said earlier, forgive me if I missed anything, but if I did miss anything major, leave it in the comments box below. Well, there are a lot of changes on this boat. They have listened to Genoa owners and really tried to get the most out of a 9 metre vessel. I think most of the changes we agree with. There's a couple that we're a little bit uh, not sure if that was the best move, but I think all in all, it is a fantastic move. Make your choice between the Series 1 and the Series 2. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And happy boating. Thanks so much to Northside Marine.